So behind me here is the uh, Chiyo Temple, and it's right at the entrance to the uh, Raohojie Market, the eastern entrance of the Raohojie Market. Now to say that I've never seen this temple would be a lie, because I mean I have seen it, I've been to this market hundreds of times, but I've never noticed this temple, never seen it in that sense. Um, today I was doing research on the night market because I'm actually doing a video on the night market and then I got some information on this temple and the first thing that struck me was the fact that it was built in the 18th century. I think it was constructed in 1752 or something like that. That has to make it one of the oldest temples in Taiwan I would imagine. Um, but that's only the first amazing thing that I found out about this temple. Um, so many interesting things about it. So today for the first time I'm actually going to go inside and have a look inside. I even go into the night market. This temple is spectacular yet rather overwhelming and you'll realize that as soon as you walk in the door. The ground floor or the first floor is the busiest floor with lots of people praying and performing religious rituals. The main shrine on this floor houses the goddess Matsu, also known as the Queen of Heaven or Guardian of the Seas. She was born and lived on earth until she was about 28 years old. And she received God status due to her exceptional life here on earth. After her passing she became a powerful goddess thought to roam the seas protecting her believers. Legend has it that a monk carrying a statue of the goddess Matsu was wandering around this area in Taiwan. Then he met up with some fellow followers of the goddess Matsu and they started construction of this temple in 1753. I doubt the statue in the temple today is the original statue, but either way it's pretty amazing how far back the history of this temple goes. And that's just the first floor. There are six floors total in this temple with over 100 deities. Most of the temples in Taiwan are set up like this. There is a main shrine with a primary deity, which uh, in this case the Chiyo temple, that's the goddess Matsu. But there will also be other deities and shrines within one temple. So the goddess Matsu shares the first floor of this temple with a couple of other deities like the all-seeing general and the all-hearing general, also the earth god, the tiger general and a couple of others that I will rather not try and pronounce. When you pass the main shrine on the left and the right sides of the temple you'll find a staircase that goes up to the other floors and other shrines. On the second floor, you'll find the goddess of childbirth, accompanied by 12 nursing goddesses and the Du Union midwife. I was lucky enough to arrive during a prayer ritual, and even though I have no idea what they were singing about, their voices were very calm and very comforting to listen to. Make sure that you go all the way to the top. I think it was on the fifth floor that they had a nice big balcony with great views of the city. And th all throughout this temple, pay close attention to the stonework and the art, both on the floor, the pillars, the walls, and the ceiling. If you want to know specific details about this temple, and actually many other cool places in Taiwan, you should check out the blog of John Ellis, a photographer that spends a lot of time and a lot of effort researching and explaining customs and gods and cultures on his blog. You can find him at goteamjosh.com, then click on the blog section. On his Chiyo temple post, he lists all the gods on all six floors of this temple. Another thing to look for when you're wandering about are the door gods. I love these. Lots of history and interesting stories about the door gods and the way that they are painted. Have a look at their eyes and then move around from side to side. With some of them you will notice that the eyes follow you as you move around. It's an exquisite optical illusion style of painting and you'll see them on many temple doors all over Taiwan. Another interesting thing that you will see are the moon blocks or Jiao Bei, I think they're called in Chinese. You'll see people praying and throwing them on the floor. It's two wooden half moon blocks that are used in prayer to ask yes, no questions from the gods. Um, you can ask a question if you like, but first you should introduce yourself to the god. Then you ask your question, 
then you throw the blocks down on the floor or on the surface that's provided. Depending on the way that they land, you'll have your answer. If they fall uneven, it's yes. If they fall both round sides up, it's no. And if they fall both flat sides up, it translates to laughing. So either rephrase the question that you were asking or accept that the question that you were asking has no answer. In my case, I asked whether or not there was a typhoon coming and the answer I got was laughing, which seems appropriate. I'm sure the gods and deities have more pressing matters than attending to my silly question regarding the weather. You can go and have a look at the video I did on Long San Temple, where I go into more details about the customs and rituals surrounding temples in Taiwan. The Chiyo Temple is open until about 9 p.m. at night. I really like this temple, so I spend about an hour here, but you can budget around 30 minutes if you just want to have a quick visit and a quick look around. This temple is one of Taipei's most important Matsu temples, so be respectful when you visit. Don't be noisy, don't touch anything, and don't accidentally go into areas where you're not supposed to be, like me. And if you do, as a rule of thumb, don't step on the floor below or the barrier under a doorway.